Hey, John, it's Willie Geis. Take us behind the scenes a little bit. What was Secretary Clinton's reaction on Monday when you showed her the clip of President Clinton in Flint, Michigan, attacking the Affordable Care Act, saying it's the craziest thing in the world and that small business people are getting killed? How did she react to her husband saying those things about President Obama's signature legislation? <laughs> Look, I was in I was in uh, I was in uh, Richmond, so uh, you know you'll have to ask somebody else that question. But <laughs> you were lucky you know, enough not to hear that conversation. conversation. Look, 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 look. Did you if hear you through the, the grapevine, John? What he Did you said, see it on the news? If you look at the context and what she said yesterday and what he actually said, uh, he was saying that. Oh. The Affordable Care Act had done uh, a lot of good things. That it covers now 20 million people who have that the lowest part unemployment of statement, rate John. in history. What about the craziest thing the in the world? And, and look, there were there's still some problems that we need to solve. And he was talking specifically about something uh, Hillary's talked about uh, on the road, which is make sure that we uh, make uh, insurance affordable, limit out-of-pocket costs. She su uh, suggested. Uh, tax relief for that. Uh, she, uh, John, and look, she knows that we need to lower the price President of prescription Clinton, drugs. President Clinton essentially made the Republican argument against Obamacare. He said small business people are getting killed, that their premiums are doubling, their coverage are getting cut in half in some cases. Right. Does Secretary Clinton share President Clinton's view of the Affordable Care Act? President uh, Secretary Clinton believes that the Affordable Care Act is doing great things, making sure that you can't be denied coverage with pre-existing conditions, you can't right. uh, discriminate against women, etc. And so I think we need to build on it. And and uh, as I've noted, she said uh, that there are things that need uh, improvement, uh, including lowering the price of prescription drugs, protecting people from excessive out-of-pocket costs. But no, she thinks it's been a success, and we need to continue it. We need to build on it. And I think that's President Clinton's. Uh, position uh, as well. That's what he really believes and, you know, wow. his colorful language notwithstanding. Okay, John <laughs> okay. Thank you, John Podesta. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, John. Okay, okay, Chuck Todd. Thank Thank you. You. Okay, wow. okay, yeah. Chuck Todd. Craziest oh. thing in the world. Bill Clinton is the explainer-in-chief, yeah. and he explained the failings of Obamacare better than any Republican did over like the 38 debates they had in the Republican primary. Look, in a normal presidential race, this would be huge. And this could be a big, big thing for the Republican ticket. The problem they got is Donald Trump has never had a... He on health care is in a, is is got so many different views and they've never really wanted to prosecute this case. But you know what this matters a lot? Pat Toomey. Roy I was going to say... Richard Burke. Yikes. The they Senate are races. dying. Wow. Races. Exactly. They oh, are dying God. to make the check argument and things like that. I'm this opens the door in a way. Mm. Bill Clinton will become a star in a bunch of NRS that, that Senate would, committee ads. That's what a, I think. That is a, a great, great insight because if I were on the campaign trail as a congressman, Fun, right? I would be talking about this every day. Let me tell you what Bill Clinton said, everybody. Yeah. Right. Hey, you know what? The press, they keep attacking us yeah. for trying to repeal Obamacare because it penalizes people who work hard. Well, listen to what Bill Well, this is what Bill Clinton said. By the way, thank you, Bill Clinton. You gotta give John Podesta credit. He can't he's he couldn't overspin, right? No, he couldn't he, he couldn't sit there and admit that Bill Clinton was helpful and he couldn't sit there and admit that Mike Pence lost the debate. Yeah, that that exactly. Was oh, yeah. All right, hey Chuck, thank you thank so you much Chuck. for right, being here. We greatly appreciate okay, it. Okay, straight ahead, we're gonna hear from the